Harry here, this is Lord Potato, and this is, well, what if Naruto was the reincarnation of Sanjin Wu and Gojo Satoru? Part 3. Now, let me do a recap. Since I uploaded part 2 four days ago, I think four, yeah, four days ago. Since, yeah, that was, okay. So let me do a recap. So, Naruto. He was cut off by uh, Samuel. Samuel is from someone that is from a clan. Of course, Samuel just wanted Naruto to be friends with someone named Raven, but Naruto refused it because Naruto does not like anyone. Of course, he had it. He got knocked out and was brought towards a place with someone named Karasu. Karasu is the grandfather of well Samuel and also well Raven. Now, of course, Naruto really uh. Had it to fight against Karasu. Of course, he lost and almost got hit by a jutsu and smashed into a building. Of course, he was hurt. He didn't want his Genshin to break or anything. Or not even use the uh, Kiwi Chakra. Of course, uh, Samuel did try to help Naruto by trying to knock him out again. Naruto refused and, well, jumped very far up into the tower. Or well, onto a building. And, of course, Karasu tried to knock him out. But Naruto smashed the building. With, there was a bunch of rubble in the sky, of course, is where Naruto used the QB Chakra to have two tails. Well, not two tails. Yeah, one tails. And, of course, make his arm have the QB Chakra like a claw, but into a fist motion. And, of course, use Black Flash to break the barrier. And, of course, Naruto smashes into a building, a brick building. <clears throat> so, yeah. Of course, Naruto also went to the, well... Hokage after the next day and all that. So he told uh, Horuzen about he already knows his he already knows about the nine tails, his two parents, and yeah. Of course Horuzen did tell him about well about his parents and all that and also gave him a scroll that contains well jutsus a little bit. And also about his mother and the father. He also gave him the flying raijin, like a rusted flying raijin, uh kunai. And also a key. He also gave uh, Naruto teachers that were actually chosen by Minato and Kushina. Minato's side was Kakashi Hatake and his little brother named Zakaren Hatake. With his, with uh, Kushina's side, she picked Anko Midorashi and Hana Hyuga. <clears throat> so yeah. Of course, this is where Naruto was 8 at that time and he was 4 9. So... We actually go into, well, a three-year time skip. So, Naruto got to the Hyuga, uh, well, I mean, not Hyuga compound, but the compound. And the compound was actually hidden in a waterfall. But yeah, but before I go anything into the compound or anything, we will go into the three-year time skip. Now, Naruto doesn't went to the academy for three years. Of course, this is where Sa uh, Samuel kind of just realized that shit, he fucked up. Karasu also just really he fucked up also, but yeah. Of course, they've been trying to look for Naruto for one year, but they couldn't find him, so yeah, they gave up. So, <clears throat> let me go into, well, what is happening to Karasu. So, we will go into um, where that Karasu is right now just dealing with some high-ranking ninjas. About two A-ranked ninjas and one S-ranked ninja. With his family, Raven... So, his granddaughter, but with also the other clan heirs. And also some of his, like, what's it called? Friends and all that. The other clans dealing with these s rank ninjas. They are right now on the road. <clears throat> they were going back to the Leaf Village after a small trip. <clears throat> of course, they got ambushed by these guys. And, well, what's it called? Some bandits, but he man Katasu managed to defeat some bandits. But these a rank ninjas and also the s rank ninjas are very powerful, so he can't really take them out. Because Katasu is only considered to be, well, an a rank ninja, not the s rank ninja. <coughs> but he's not a ninja, he's mostly a priest. But he's strong to be a ninja. So, of course, the other, like, clan members are kind of protecting their children, also Raven. But, yeah. Of course, Raven wants to help her grandfather, but realize that she, even though she is only 12 years old, she can't do much to help her grandfather. So, of course, this is where, well, uh, what's it called? 
This is where, well, uh, what to call it, Kadoshu was about to get hit by, well, the s rank Ninja Fist. Until, well, when the s rank Ninja was about to connect into Kadoshu's, uh face. This is where, well, Kadoshu got pulled away, but then the Fist never actually hit him exactly. Because, well, even though Kadoshu was never getting hit, a hand was actually right in front of him, blocking the Fist. But the Fist never connected with the hand. So, of course, Karasu says, what the hell? He opened his eyes, and of course, well, he stopped close. He opened one eye because he thought he was going to hit by get hit by the s -like Ninja. But he opened full his eyes and looks at the person who blocked it. The s -like Ninja looks at the kid who was right now in front of him. Well, he doesn't know if he's a kid. The kid is 6'1 right now. He is 6'1 uh, feet. He is pretty damn tall. And also, the kid has white and black hair and has a blindfold. And also, his clothes are all black. So, yeah. <clears throat> this is where, well, this is Naruto. Naruto says, yo, what's good, man? This is what he says, how are you doing that? Then he gets knee right in the stomach. The yes, rank ninja, whoa. <laughs> Smashes into, well, a tree. The two egg rank ninjas were white in their eyes and says, ah. Boss, what happened? This is where, well, Karasu says, um, thank you? This is where Naruto says, no problem, Karasu-sama. Besides, I still hate you, by the way, for trying to hurt me when I was younger, but I don't hold that many grudges. Heh. This is where Karasu looked at him closely and just say, uh, who are you exactly? Eh? Oh, my name is Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs> Namikaze. This is where Karasu says, Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze. Namikaze. Uzumaki. Naruto. Wait, wait, you're that kid. This is where Naruto disappears and kicks one of the A rank ninjas in the fucking head. This is where the other one tries to look, like, attack Naruto with a sword. Naruto dodges the attack. Naruto says, Arise, Icarus. Icarus appears and slices his A rank ninja down. <laughs> The a rank Ninja dies. This is where Naruto dodges another attack from the s rank Ninja. And of course, Naruto says, Icarus, go deal with the other a rank Ninja. Yes, sir. This is where s rank Ninja tries to attack Icarus. But Naruto appears and says, Hey, buddy. No. Flicks him right in the head. Oh, you little brat. This is where Naruto says, Red. Uh, cursed energy. Reverse red. Uh, style. Or cursed energy red. This is where Naruto... Puts his finger out and a little red ball appears. And Archer just flicks it towards the X-Rank Ninja. The X-Rank Ninja just goes, Pshing! he just flies backwards so fast. And smashes into a couple of trees. When I mean a couple of trees, mostly like 20 trees. This is where the X-Rank Ninja gets up and he's like really hurt, really bad and all that. No, I to say, really wasn't thinking you were actually going to die that easily. Pfft, weakling. Of course, the s rank Ninja gets angry and just start to swell. He pulls out like a like a vial and all that, like a bunch of vials and bags, and just start throwing them in the ground. And it's just iron, like powder of iron. That's why Naruto says, what the hell? This is where the s rank Ninja says, you want to know why I'm s rank Ninja? Then I'll do this. He goes through multiple hand signs and says, manipulation of iron dust. Iron dust spikes. He shots at Naruto, and all of them don't even hit Naruto. They all just just stand there. Like this is where the Esprit Dungeon says, "What the?" Naruto says, "Arise, Beru." Beru uh, comes out, and this is just an ant, giant ant. Now Naruto, I will get to mention what actually happened to him in the three years. Or yeah, three years. This is where Beru, like he. Goes through the iron dust, like what's it called iron dust uh, spikes, and cut them down. And of course, she rushes at the s rank ninja. The s rank ninja says, You weakling, shoots multiple iron spikes at well, the ant, and it doesn't hurt him. That's where Baru just cuts down the s rank ninja down. Ugh. What the? Impossible. And dies. Naruto says, That was anti climactic. Anti climactic. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, I, don't, I can't speak for some reason. But yeah, this is where, well, 
Kyrus is like, what the? This is where Icarus already cut down the Aerith Ninja down by stabbing him right in the back of the, uh, what's it called, spine? So, of course, yeah. So, of course, this is where Icarus and Baru goes back to Naruto. Uh, Baru says, my legion, I have killed him. While uh, Icarus says, my lord, I have now uh, finished the task. Naruto nods and says, then come back. Of course, they both come back. And Naruto says, that was way easier than I thought. Why did Horuzen really just throw me out here if I'm going to be fighting against weaklings? Eh, whatever. Naruto's not considered a ninja right now. It's just, well, it wasn't because Horuzen wanted him to go do it. It's because Horuzen noticed that Naruto was the closest. And, well, because this uh, sort of compound is kind of close to, well, this place. And they did kind of use the summoning, uh, what's it called, summoning animal contract. So they could warn Horuzen and all that. And Horuzen just told Naruto to do it. This is where Naruto is. Ah, uh, so boring. Whatever. This is where Naruto walks up to Karasu and says, Hello. Karasu just sees Naruto. Naruto's tall as hell. And very, like, what's it called, thin, a little bit like that. So, of course, the word Karasu so, says, so you're Naruto Zemaki. Where the fuck have you been for three years? Naruto says, hiding, away from you. Hmm? Naruto just, like, put his tongue, uh, well, he puts his tongue, uh, tongue out and just, like, stick it at what's it called, uh, well, stick it out and just go, hmm, at what's it called, Karasu, because he doesn't like Karasu that much. <clears throat> And Karasu sees this and he gets a little tick mark. But then again, he just says, Ah, this fucking hurts. This is where he kind of collapses a little bit. But Naruto catches him and says, Ooh, you're an old person. Why are you fighting against uh, what's called weaklings if you could easily collapse and die? This is where Karasu gets a tick mark saying, I'm not that old, you brat. Naruto says, Oh, really? Ah, I thought you were at least a hundred. Naruto really just has Gojo's personality just to really piss off people. So, this is where Karasu says, I'm gonna fucking murder you one day. <clears throat> Can you really tell when I'm under the protection of the Hokage? Fuck! This is where Naruto laughs and says, Yeah, bitch, you can't do shit to me. This is where, well, <clears throat> Karasu says, Whatever. I see that your Genjutsu was released. I'm guessing by the Dirt Hokage. Oh, the Dirt Hokage already saw it when I was younger. I actually went to his office after I escaped your shit. Your death trap. Karasu says, it wasn't a death trap. It was just, well, you tried to kill me. You blew me into a wall and I was having wooden spikes. Hmm, I should say that is not a death trap, is it? Karasu says, it wasn't. Uh, somewhat. This is where Raven sees Naruto. And Raven just goes up to Naruto. And she bows down and apologizes about her family and all that. About three years ago. And Naruto just waves her off and says, it's fine. I really don't stand courageous or anything. I just don't like your clan that much. Especially with Karasu and um, Samuel, your brother. I fucking hate him. <coughs> <coughs> I would love to punch him in the face. Naruto says, Karasu says, uh, I guess you change and would rather punch me and cut and uh, Sami in the face. Yeah, pricks were the reason why I were hurt. Uh, whatever. I really don't care. So, are all of you okay? He looks at the other clan heirs. Uh, what's it called? The smoke, uh, what's it called? The, not smoke. The steam? user which i'm just gonna say the smoke user instead of like steam because the steam is usually from the stone village so the smoke user who is able to just kind of use like smoke and all that uh what's it called <clears throat> it's like a smoke keka kenkai and also the poison keka kenkai user which is like looking at naruto and say so you were that kid very interesting. Your genshin did break, and that's how we saw it. Your hair is a little bit much longer and also bigger than the last time we saw it. You still have a blindfold, I guess. 
and you still wearing black clothes. But what about your Wesker mark? Why did you pick that? Not to say blankly out, I say it's because I'm the nine toaster jerky. That was just because I wanted people, people to still think I was a demon. Hmm. But who cares about that? This is where Katasu says, Wait, you're the nine toaster jerky? No wonder your orange chakra seems so familiar. Now I have to say, what? What do you think I was? The fucking... A kid with orange chakra. Wow, that's so interesting. And this is where Katasu says, Okay, you don't need to be such a prick about a kid. Now I have to say, And you weren't needed to be such a prick about trying to, well... I don't know, kidnap me from my fucking apartment? Katasu say, I didn't kidnap you from your apartments. Yeah, but you've been trying to look for me in my apartments. Bruh, how many times did you trigger or trigger my freaking alarm system in my apartments? Luckily, I don't live in my apartments no more. That old apartments. But, I should probably make more better security if I'm ever going to live in there. Probably, maybe. I just don't want people to have some random creepy old man going in. Their apartments kind of taking stuff from the drawer and yeah. This is where, well, Katasu says, you little prick. And of course, this is where Naruto says, oh, Raven. Uh, Raven just said, yeah. Naruto says, wanna be friends? This is where Raven ushes and all that because she thought she was gonna, uh, she thought what's it called, Naruto was gonna say something else. This is where, well, Katasu says, uh, I thought you said you didn't like friends. Well, I'm actually going into the academy into, well, when I'm 12 years old to become a ninja. So I'm guessing I just need friends. Hmm. This is where, well, Karasu says, Ah, oh, great. I wonder what you have been doing for the last three years. Training, mostly. Ah, oh, great. I was being sarcastic, but wow. Okay. And this is where Naruto says, yeah, I've been training. He just sticks his tongue out at Karasu and taught, uh, Karasu says, I'm gonna... He throws a kunai at Naruto and the kunai doesn't hit Naruto. It was also about to hit, was it got Raven? Because Karasu was getting angry and the kunai was about to hit Raven instead of Naruto. Because Naruto was about to dodge until Naruto blocked it with just his hand. And it did hit him right in the hand. He didn't use the limitless or anything. He just blocked it so it didn't hit Raven. And of course, Katasu uh, said, uh, I'm sorry, daughter, uh, granddaughter. Raven just got scared. And of course, Naruto says, You shouldn't try to kill your granddaughter. You know that, Katasu. Katasu says, Brat. I could have managed to dodge it, but I actually just had to get hit by it. Luckily, it doesn't have any poison in it. Karasu says, so you will actually protect my daughter instead of like letting her get hit by the kunai. I'm not a prick, Naruto says. Even though she says she doesn't want to be my friend, doesn't mean I'm going to let someone die just because of your recklessness. This is where Karasu says, keep getting tech marks and just says, you want? Screw you, kid. This is where, well, Raven says, yes, I want you to be my friend. She said it kind of unconsciously a little bit. And then when she realized what she said, she kind of blushed and just kind of ignored Naruto a little bit. Naruto kind of chuckled a little bit. But doesn't matter, Naruto says, well, I got to get to my house already. Or, well, my compound was, not he? This is where Karasu says, your compound, what do you mean? Naruto, he uses the flying Raijin that he has in what's called the compound. And all that Karasu sees is black and white lightning. And gone. Karasu says, does he already know about the flying right? Oh my fucking days. Interesting. Raven was kind of just standing there, kind of blushing, and then she just realized Naruto left, and she's kind of sad now. But she then looks at her grandfather and glares at him. So yeah. This is where, well, we go into Naruto. Naruto's getting ready for the academy for tomorrow. And of course, he does live in the compound. The compound's pretty big in the waterfall. It's like a waterfall cave compound. And of course, well, uh, what's it called? He's just getting ready in his room. 
And of course, it were Kakashi. Uh, like, not Kakashi, Zakaren, who is basically Kakashi's younger brother, just kind of knocks at Naruto's door and says, Get ready, tomorrow's your first day of academy? Or second day? Since you didn't went there for about three years. Naruto says, Ah, uh, let's say first day. Let's just say that my uh, first day in the academy when I was eight years old uh, never happened. Zakaren says, Eh, who cares? But I'm going to miss you, Naruto. This is where Naruto says, what do you mean you're going to miss me? I'm not going to go into like being a ninja rank yet. I'm just going into academy first day. Sakurai says, but I'm going to miss you because you aren't going to be in the in the uh, compound for that uh, so many days. Because, well, you were kind of like a little brother to me. This is where... Naruto says, uh, okay. This is where, well, Uncle, like, appears out of nowhere, and she just jumps on Sakurai's head and all that, and says, yeah, we're gonna miss you, uh, brat. That's where Naruto says, hello there, Uncle. Uncle says, Uncle what, Chan? Yes, you call me that. Or not Chan. No, 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 no. You call me Big Sis? Yes, brat. Well, I'm going to miss you a lot, but I'm going to have more time with uh, Zakaren. Since both Anko and Zakaren has become a thing with Naruto uh, kind of just being kind of either like a, a little brother to them. But yeah. Also, uh, what's called Hana and also Kakashi has become a little bit more of a thing. Both Hana and Kakashi. Let me do a kind of time, uh, well not time skip, a... Uh, like flashback of what really happened to Kakashi and Hana. Kakashi was reading his book and well, Hana kind of smacked his book away and took it away. And of course, Kakashi said, no, my book. While Naruto was kind of training, he was just doing nothing until, well, he was walking in. And of course, well, Kakashi went to go uh, try to save his book. So he ran into the room, kind of just guns blazing. And, of course, he kind of saw Hana reading his book. Of course, she had sheets over herself. And, of course, where Kakashi kind of blushes and Hana also blushes. This is where Hana gets mad and was about to use her sword. So, she has a sword. And Kakashi says, wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold up. This is where Hana actually closes the door. And, yeah. Naruto is kind of confused what is Kakashi and Hana doing, uh, doing but, yeah. Now, Naruto, he knows about love and all that. He's not dumb or anything like that, so yeah. So, Naruto, he is just like, yeah, I have to go to sleep. So, of course, both uh, Anko and Zakarin let Naruto go to sleep while they go into their rooms. So, yeah. So, the next day happens, and, well, Kakashi's back into his room, and, well, Kakashi is tired. He is asleep, and Naruto says, okay, bye, Zakaren, and bye, Big Sis, uh, what's it called, well, Big Bro, uh, Zakaren, Big Sis, uh, Anko, Anko, that's where they say bye, and they're wondering where, uh, Kakashi and Hana are at, Hana's asleep and doesn't care that much, well, she's too tired to even wake up, and Kakashi's the same, so, Naruto, he goes towards, well, the academy, and yeah, now, this is where Naruto gets to the academy, and, well, he goes to the room that doesn't have clan heirs. So, uh, well, since Haruza knows about Naruto's skills, he decides to put Naruto not in the, like, Oruka's classroom where it was called. He, there, there's the clan heirs and all, like Sasuke and all that. No, he puts him actually in, like, the same classroom that kind of had what's called Raven and the other kind of smaller clan heirs. Clan Eris and Clan Eris. This is where Naruto goes in. And this is where the instructor says. Oh you must be the new student. Can you well explain what's your name? Naruto says. Sang Satoru. Because Naruto kind of did change his name to Sang Satoru. That would actually not change that much. From my redo. Of like what I did for part 1. Before I did redo part 1. But yeah. Uh, Sang Satoru would be Naruto's name. But yeah. 
<coughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, Naruto, he is just like, huh. And he just goes sit and besides Raven. Raven just kind of gets nervous with Naruto sitting next to her. And Naruto says, hello there, Raven. Of course, this is where everyone, well, just start talking. Because, well, a bunch of civilian girls and even those who are actually clan air girls that are actually friends with Raven are actually looking at Naruto. And Naruto does not look that bad. Naruto is tall. He's 6'1". He also has black and white hair, but he has a, a blindfold for no one. Well, no one actually knows, but Naruto can walk perfectly fine. Actually, Naruto just wears shades. And, of course, well, the glasses that was caught, well... Gojo wears those so like shade glasses, so yeah. He would like to wear his blindfold, but people will ask too many questions, so yeah. And of course, this is where Raven just says, um, hi, Naruto. This is where uh, Naruto says, oh, I don't like when you call me Naruto that much. Fine song. So Naruto just smiles and says, thanks. <laughs> this is where Raven says, your personality changes a lot. Uh, it's just something I've been working a lot. And it's just personality. Huh. Besides, you don't like me that much or what? That's why Raven kind of blushes and says, No, no, that's not what I meant. Uh, she just going, she just has spinning eyes because, like, she just has swirl in her eyes and all, like, spinning all that. And of course, there's more, well, now I just say, Um, oh, Raven, Raven. Like, he's, like, putting his hand right in front of her. And, of course, Raven is just like, uh, oh, sorry about that. Um, what are you talking about? Naruto just says, eh, never mind. That's where Raven kind of, kind of sad him. But Naruto says, it was nothing, Raven. It's fine. That's where Raven just nods. And, of course, they pay attention to the classroom. Naruto is pretty smart. And, of course, he actually does pay attention. Now, of course, it's where the teacher decides to take them all out for what's called an exam and all that. To see where their physical strengths are at and all that. The civilians are just basic. The heirs and heirs are kind of more advanced. And when they go to Naruto and they say, Sanctatero, it's your turn. That's where Naruto says, got it. He got kunai and shuriken. He throws the kunai and shuriken perfectly. And when it comes towards him and with Ka, just physical training, he is a god. <clears throat> so with that happening, they just say, huh, interesting. So what happened if, uh, let me go into what happened in Naruto's training in three years. Naruto trained in jutsus of like his family techniques, but he also trained in how to use like cursed energy and magic. He also went into different dungeons and fought against him. So he got more soldiers after that. And also got more percent of abilities he can use. Well, powers. So Naruto's eyes. Well, his eyes are right now purple. Purple bluish. So yeah, so they're this color. They kind of have a little bit purple and blue in it. But of course, this is where, well, Naruto also kind of, what's it called? He also got 75% of what's it called Song and Gojo's powers together. Uh, down. So, yeah. So, that's what happened. So, with that happening, both Naruto and what's it called? Well, uh, everyone is shocked with Naruto's skills. Naruto is just a god in his skills. So, Naruto is put up against, well... Uh, what's it called? He was put up against a, well, someone who was actually close to him. And it wasn't actually a clan heir, but a civilian. Someone who actually got to hit six kunais right, but uh, missed one uh, shuriken wrong. So, of course, he was actually put up against Naruto in a spar fight. And, of course, this person just started trying to fight against Naruto and other. By just using the standard academy fight and other. And Naruto, he was dodging the attack and all that. He was like kind of yawning and all that. He was like, ugh, this is kind of boring. So Naruto says, wait, before you attack me anymore, can you just give me a high five? This is where Naruto pulls his hand out and says, ura ura, ura ura ura. 
This is where the Super Lancer says, okay. So when he tried to high five Naruto, it, it doesn't even hit Naruto's hand. So where the Super Lancer says, what the? Naruto says, psych. He grabs, well, his hands go into what's called <clears throat> intertwined with the other civilian and all that. Civilian kid and all that. And he kicks the civilian right in the stomach. Look, the kid is knocked out. So Naruto says, huh, that was easy. <laughs> Uh, oops. I guess I wasn't supposed to use that. So, yeah. Everyone is shocked, but they were kind of impressed with Naruto's skills. So, yeah. And that happens. So, yeah. Alright. Okay, so, sorry about that. I actually kind of got lazy when I was doing this what if. So, let me go back... Sorry, I felt kind of lazy and started watching YouTube when I was actually going to change my music. But then, I also kind of had my head kind of hurting and my stomach kind of hurting also. That I'm actually going to end this with a pretty short. So yeah, I'm going to just end it off here. Have a nice potato day. Potato night, potato day. Potato, potato. But yeah, potato, potato. Take